Hello everyone, this is John back again with another food review and today I'm going to some place that I typically uh, don't like and yet I still go to it. It's Little Caesars and this is, says delivery delivery because I got this delivered. Um, in my area, Little Caesars is delivered by DoorDash and before I tell you what this is and go ahead and taste it let me uh, do a little bit rant about why I am irritated with DoorDash in this situation. First of all, a lot of these places that do delivery, um, such as DoorDash, if you don't do it directly through them, it's very hard to contact and get money back and complain about your delivery. Because then you go to Little Caesars and say something's wrong. It's like, well, we didn't do that. That was DoorDash. Go through them. But since it's a second party thing and it wasn't directly through DoorDash, uh, it, it's complicated on how to deal with them in certain situations. But anyway, let me tell you what happened here. Um, I ordered this and it said it was going to be delivered at quarter till noon. And here I am. It is 12.30 right now because I just got my food not too long ago. And it was about 25 to 30 minutes later than the estimated time that it gave me. No, you could say, uh, oh, they must have been busy, whatnot. But one thing they do t give you is a link to track your order. Um, and it opens up a link that opens up a DoorDash page, shows you where your driver is. So I saw him. This place is directly north of me. Instead of going south to my location, he drove east to downtown Chicago area. Why would you want to go into downtown knowing that that is a terrible place to drive? I don't know. What I assume is he either had another pickup. He also does Uber and was picking up people. Something like that to try to double up his money. But that means my pizza was in his car probably with the AC on because it's so hot out for another 25 to 30 minutes meaning my pizza when it arrived was slightly warmer than room temperature I have set these two pieces in the microwave for 30 seconds to get them hotter and I'm going to eat them soon so they don't again get cold but this is the Little Caesars pepperoni and cheese stuffed crust um, I do see a little bit of red in there in the corner. I don't know if you could see that right there in there. But uh, that's the only thing I see on any of the slices I have here that looks like the pepperoni in the crust. But let's go ahead and try it. First, let's just see how the pizza itself is. I don't know if you can see between the cheese and the bread, but the amount of sauce on here is minimal. They do say that this is their extra most bestest, hate the name, pepperoni pizza. I also hate how oily Little Caesar's Pizza is. Like, why is it so glistening on the bottom? I've seen pizza... Oh, how greasy the bottom of that is. The cheese sometimes on pizza makes grease pool on the top. But the only way you have that much grease on the bottom is that you're literally sitting the pizza in grease when it's cooking. Okay, cut this in half. Still don't see any pepperoni here. No. 
no pepperoni in that. Oh, here we go. In that slice, there was a singular pepperoni in the whole crust of that one slice. anything until I get this grease off my fingers. The pepperoni that they use has a good flavor. The cheese that they use has a good flavor. The seasonings, the parmesan here, all good. They could stand to put more sauce in here. I have seen the uh, the um, the viral video going around about how people exposed how Little Caesars makes pizza sauce by mixing a big tub of uh, tomato paste with water and seasonings. Yeah, that's it. Seems normal to me. Um, I've made pizza sauces at home, and I've made spaghetti sauces at home. Depending on what you have, if you don't have big tomatoes, if you don't have uh, uh, cans of crushed tomatoes, if you have tomato paste, you can make a decent sauce by watering it down and putting some spices in it. That's Tomato paste is just a concentrated uh, version. It would be the difference between like a bottle of fresh squeezed orange juice or a frozen can of concentrated orange juice. It's literally something they've taken the water out of and concentrate it down and adding water back to it and it's a little Caesar so what's the more economic way to do that is the concentrate less uh, space to store it um, cheaper by the finished product ounce wise it's not a, a dumb thing to do it makes sense it keeps the price of this down it's the same reason why even though they have more pepperonis on here than their normal ones, where they say they have more pepperonis on their pizza than other places, the pepperoni is extra thin. Most people don't notice that. Most people don't care. You really don't eat a, a pepperoni pizza to be like chomping down on thick cut pepperoni. For the most part. I know there are places that do that and it's really good, but if you just want a cheap thin crust pizza that tastes like pepperoni the thin cut pepperonis are going to give you the exact same flavor and experience than like a Pizza Hut pepperoni pizza which is marginally thicker pepperoni and I actually like how the way the thinner pepperoni crisps up too it gives it a little crunchy texture to it um, let me see this uh, this crust on this one, if I rip it open and tear that off, this is about half of the crust on this pizza, the slice. Oh, that one has two pepperonis in it. I got some uh, marinara sauce. It's tasty. Flavor-wise, I don't hate it. Um, I wish there was a, a little more sauce on the pizza itself. But, you know, that doesn't ruin it. What ruins Little Caesars Pizza to me is the fact that you can't just hold on to a piece and eat it without just having all your fingers super lubed up. Like, this is from one piece of, I don't know if you can see that, but I can see all the grease that I've already put on this paper towel. This is just the stuff that's gotten from the pizza to my hands. 
And it's on the bottom of the pizza. Why is all the grease on the bottom? It doesn't make sense to me. You need to make the bottoms of your pizza less greasy. So I can put a pizza on my hand like this and not have my whole hand coated with grease. And it's not even like flavorful grease. It's just like this bland, flavorless grease they probably put on the pans just so <laughs> the pizzas just like slide directly off of them with little to no effort. So, would I recommend the pepperoni stuffed crust pizza from Little Caesars? For $10 for this size pizza, it is relatively inexpensive. It's more expensive than their normal pizzas, but uh, for the experience, is it worth it? Maybe. Um, it's messy because of the grease. And the delivery basically made it twice as expensive with a delivery fee, service fee, and tip to the driver. Um, if I were you, going to Little Caesars, probably delivery is not the best idea. Um, go in there yourself, get it out of the, the hot and ready um, vending machine thing they got there, and... I don't know. Enjoy it for what it is. A cheap pizza. And it tastes fine. It tastes good. Um, like I said, I have no complaints about the flavor at all. My really com two big complaints are about the delivery, which had nothing to do with Little Caesars in general, and the amount of grease on the bottom of the pizza. The grease on the bottom is just unacceptable to me. Um, that That's what really keeps me from wanting to order from Little Caesars is is, is that situation. Um, I did this one just because of the new thing wanted to try it out um, and make a video for you to let you know what I think about it. And now that you've seen it, you know my opinion about it. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. If you didn't like it, give it two thumbs up. And subscribe to the channel because you want to see more of content like this. Um, not content from buffoons who end up on Netflix. And with that, I'll see you guys later. Bye!